The business has been here for a long time. It's been in the well, been in the premises for about 18 years, and I'd taken over about 10 years of that. And my brother-in-law and sister owned the building. They they ran the business prior to me. And um, it's a small country town with a small mower shop selling steel products and mowers and chainsaws, servicing them. Um, it's a real hands-on business. So yeah, it's 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 my it's my life. Yeah. I was in the midst of a holiday in Queensland. Believe it or not, I was. Um, Enjoy myself, just set the caravan up, up on the beach and um, a nice early morning shower ready for a big day and I think it was quarter past eight, uh, one of the staff members rang and he, my son, my um, 13 year old son at the time answered the phone and said, Dad, it's Jed, he sounds a little bit funny and um, I got on the phone and, and yeah, Jed gave me the bad news that there was something going on down in the shop and next phone call was to my good friend Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll never forget that phone call. So yeah, we had to make some quick decisions and, and, and how to move forward pretty quickly from up there. Mark rang me to tell me what had happened at half past eight in the morning. Um, firstly, I rang the insurer, told them what was happening. I told them the fire was still going. And the next call I made was to LMI. And that's through previous experience um, and just the education that LMI has provided me over a long period of time that it was just a no-brainer to ring LMI and get the ball rolling from the ground floor. Otherwise, coming in you know, midway through a claim is not going to work very well, so yeah, yep. Beyond just the insurance, yeah, Jamie's become a friend and, um, and I suppose I trusted him with the insurance from day one and every, um, everything Jamie said along the process is we've, we've, we've adhered to and thank goodness now because um, we wouldn't have been talking about business interruption insurance um, had it not been for Jamie, He's, he instigated that probably only two or three years prior. And um, like I say, thank goodness that happened, yeah. so. I think from that perspective, we want to make sure that we cover our clients as best we can. Um, we make suggestions at the end of the day, it's up to the client to take up our recommendations. But fortunately for Mark, he you know took the business interruption cover. And I guess, you know, without it, we wouldn't be standing here today, would we? No, no, we'd, uh, very unlikely. Yeah. It took a little while to sink in um, what what we yeah what we were about to um, embark upon. I suppose I I wouldn't say I was flippant at the time, but it it didn't dawn on me just how big a job it was, and uh, it did pretty quickly though. It only took a, a week or so, and then the reality clicked in that okay, we've got a huge job on our hands, and yeah, you don't just um, bring the bobcat cat in and wipe away the rubble and rebuild quickly. It's just a, a massive process, and not and I. I had no idea what, what laid ahead of that time, but um, yeah, Jamie steered us through amongst, uh, with the help of Ali Mai, of course, but yeah, Jamie, um, from my perspective, was yeah, right there from the start. I, I'm not too sure how we would have managed without Ali Mai, I guess that's the truth. Um, we would have battled through it, I guess, oh, we, at cool. some start, yeah, you, you would have battled through it, but that's what it would have been, a battle. The first impressions were brilliant. I mean, you, you, you're sitting around a table with people that know their staff, it's obvious, they're professionals, and. Um, and just knew how to handle the situation. I mean, you know, you've obviously, you, you guys see that um, on a daily or weekly basis. I've never dealt with anything like it. Jamie potentially may have seen people go through Only that. But once, you know, intimately, yeah, yeah. One, one plane, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but just to have people around that made you feel like we've got this, it's okay. Uh, yeah, very reassuring from yeah. the moment we met you guys, without doubt. Yep. It helped having a client that was receptive to the recommendations that were made because if Mark had said no to business interruption we would have been in a totally different position. Um, having listened to Ally Mike conferences and, and those sorts of things I knew that they had to get in straight away and um, if, if I'm ever in this position it'll be, it won't be any different. I'll always you know, go for Ally Mike and uh, use them as an advocate because the outcome would have been totally different without you. To look back now, nearly two years ago, um, the process, it, it's a difficult process, it's a big job and yeah, I don't think you could have done it any better to be honest and um, between Nicola and Jody that I dealt with um, on a daily basis, yeah, just brilliant, you couldn't get better um, customer service. I. I I tell people I deal with all the time when I met you, Des, um, this guy's an encyclopedia to come when it comes to insurance, and I, and I, I do tell people that. Um, you rattle off a 40-page document and pull the pull the phrase that he needed out, and uh, I, I was amazed by that. Um, but yeah, that's just what you get when you deal with professionals. So that's what it was all from day one. It's been brilliant.